Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So I am at a Black Friday sale and we are potentially looking to purchase a horse today. So we are at the Shipshawana Black Friday sale. They have two huge sales a year and one every Friday. So they have a Good Friday one and a Black Friday one. So we're gonna see what's here. I'm only gonna buy again if it's something I really want because part of me is like, okay, we just found Olaf and Jafar a home. So now I can kind of just take a little bit of a break but then the other part of me doesn't want to miss an opportunity. So it's really just going to depend on what we see today. But I cannot wait to take you along with me and show you the horses. And we're going to have a good day. So let's go. So I don't even know what kind of horse I'm looking for today. It's just going to depend what all we see. Could be a project, could be a rescue, could be a riding horse, could be a Kyle horse, could be a Shea horse. Who knows? <laughs> this place is absolutely packed. We got here a little late, but I mean, the whole entire parking lot which there's multiple parking lots, are full. You didn't bring your hat today. No. <laughs> You're not that serious? Not my fab rat's hat. <laughs> All right, we're walking in the barn now. That's cute. Looks like a Frisian cross percher on something. There are a variety of different breeds at this horse sale, but you're gonna get a lot of stock horses, some draft crosses, halflingers, ponies, donkeys, all of that, and some other common Amish breeds. Now, I personally have been leaning more towards draft horses and draft crosses. I do like ponies and stock horses as well. I like a lot of different types of breeds, but many of you ask, how do I go about selecting the horses that I purchase, especially at sales? Of course, I'm gonna look at the overall health of the horse. Are there any signs of issues? Is there snot in the nose? Are there big scars on the legs? Is there any swelling? I'm looking at the overall confirmation too. But beyond the basic physical and visual screening, I'm also searching for a connection with that horse. And it's very hard to explain just talking in a video, but when you know, you know, you can just feel that that horse is special. And then beyond the connection and plus the physical and visual screening like I was talking about, then I go from there. How is the horse built? What size are they? What is their training level? What other horses do I have right now that require you know, a lot of focus and time? It's just so many different variables that each time is completely different. So that's why sometimes you'll be like, well, you said you were looking for this horse at this auction and now you're at this auction looking for a different type. Yes, because things change and variables change. So what I'm looking for right now, I honestly don't know because I'm actually in a very good position where I could take on a project or I could take on a potential rescue or I could get a riding horse for myself that's already started or broke or something for Kyle to ride as well. I will say the more I learn and the more experience I gain, I become even pickier and pickier just because I know how much work these horses take and how much goes into them, especially when you're at an auction and you don't know what you're getting for sure. So this apparently was a Belgian gypsy cross. He was cute, but he had a very crusty neck. So that was a no-go in my opinion. I just couldn't get a good enough analysis just based off that. Now at most sales, they will have what's called the riding horses or catalog horses and then loose horses. So the difference is the riding horses are usually being ridden through the ring. They're advertised. They have more information on them, sometimes papers, more of a description where the loose horses are usually all bunched together. Oftentimes they're not even tied up and they go through the pen loose, AKA you don't really know what you're getting. There's not much of a description on the horse and it's slightly more risky. However, they go cheaper usually and you can sometimes get an awesome deal. It's just, are you willing to take the risk? That's what it comes down to. Not seeing anything so far. Not as many horses here this year. He's so cute. I don't know, I wouldn't touch him. <laughs> Now this gelding was adorable. He had the sweetest face. He was a draft cross, almost remind me of like a Clydesdale quarter horse cross or something along those lines. The only thing is he was 25 years old, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And they can still have so much life left in them. But I already have Jiminy who's 23 and Bagheera who's 30 and I'm keeping them forever. So I don't wanna take on a senior horse at this point in time. The paint horse next to him was a great size, but I just, I don't know, I didn't feel the connection. Absolutely beautiful, stocky, great size. Just, I don't know, didn't feel it. This horse was gorgeous, tall, stocky, beautiful, loved the white socks. However, the leg and hooves just didn't look right to me. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Very sweet, very nice. Very nice. Wow, this one's nice. 
gorgeous legs, gorgeous. You're very friendly and I love your halter. This Fred Dunn is actually really nice and he seems super friendly. Are you really So we'll see. You know he's a red dun because he has a dorsal stripe too. And he has a little more of a flex and mane. Yeah, he's very well built. His hooves are great. Hooves are nice. You're just silly. You're just so funny. You're funny. He's young. Might be a paper on him in the front. You walk around. He's, he's got that Spanish yeah. blood yep. fusion in there. Look at you! You are beautiful. He's like a smoky buckskin kind. Yes, he is. This little pony was so cute, but I can tell he's a little fiery and smaller, but I thought he was absolutely gorgeous. And this paint looked pretty stocky. This guy was cute too. We walked around to come and look at the red done a little closer, so let's see. He had a little note out in front of the stall, and he is a grade quarter horse, so he's only two years old. So he's very young. He is huge for only being a two-year-old. But the thing is, I'm not looking for a stock horse, but even though he's super special, and I also am not looking for a stock horse that's only two, because as you know, I wait until they're four to ride them, and I already have the two foals. So I just, I don't know if I want to take that on right now, but I love how he's built and how he doesn't have like these skinny legs for being a stock horse. He could even be a cross, like we don't know for sure because he's great, but I love his personality and I think he is beautiful i mean stunning and well built especially considering how young he is he's gonna fill out a lot more <laughs> he's humongous he's only two i can't have all these giant horses Then we saw this pony and I really liked his size and how he was stockier. He almost looks like an Exmoor pony. Definitely an Amish horse. I'm sure he's broke to some capacity and he seemed really sweet. He was a little nervous considering, you know, he's in this environment, but I love his legs. I mean, he just looks like he has a lot of bone on him. Super sweet. He loved the scratches I was giving him. Look at his lip. <laughs> what a sweetheart. A little tip, make sure you check their teeth to figure out what age they are. It is so important to do so and research and learn as much as you can about teeth so you can get a better age estimate. You also wanna look all over the horse's head, make sure their vision is okay, look for lumps and bumps, any type of scarring, all of those different types of things. And you wanna look really closely if you know you're interested in the horse and if you're gonna possibly bid or purchase the horse, look even more because things just show up. You get really starry eyed and excited when you're at an auction looking at all these cute horses, no matter what condition they're in, all horses are beautiful and cute. So you just get really excited, you know what I mean? So make sure that you're stopping and really thinking about what you're looking at. I do really like this pony, but I don't know, just because he's not really selling with any information, I'm just, I'm just not sure today. This one's cute. Big. This one's really big. Oh, you're very pretty. Sleek. You are cute. Hi, honey. Now we are heading into the pony barn where they have mini donkeys, mini horses, ponies, all of that. So let's check them out. Little 
You're cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, Pete's cute too, the blue eye. I love the pattern on this pony mare and apparently she was bred to a gypsy stud or exposed to one. Here is another gorgeous buckskin leopard horse. Oh my gosh, beautiful pony. That one's super cute. It's a little mohawk. We are not looking for a little pony. I just don't quite have the right setup for one. But this larger pony looks like a little Clydesdale. So cute. Very. Got a nice little eye. Look at your pretty eyes. Well built. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I know. That one could have a really pretty mane if it was brushed out. This is the cutest pony saddle I've ever seen. The Don Quarter Horse was really cute, but he's only a two year old. And I don't think I want to get a two-year-old to start under saddle. If he, if he was already broke to ride, I think I'd be more interested. I don't know. Some of the pros when it comes to auctions is that there's a lot of horses within one place. So you're not wasting a bunch of time just driving to look at one horse and it not being what you want. And the other aspect of it is that you can find really great horses for a decent price. But again, you just don't know for sure what you're getting. Some horses just need a little bit of time and a good bath and some TLC and they can turn out to be absolutely phenomenal, right? Sometimes you can find those diamonds in the rough. Other times it can be a different story. This was a little yearling appy. How cute. Another yearling quarter horse. Gorgeous. Well, Kyle, is there anything you want? Nothing here today. The uh, golden retrievers are cute. <laughs> we don't need a puppy. And you know it. It's a nice one. Super cute. Oh, you guys one. eating your hay? Yeah, 12 year old apple. You are cute, Jack. Oh my goodness. I love your varnish. You're pretty too. Blind in one eye. Blind in one eye. Right, barefoot, no issue. Cool. This horse looks to be gated just based on the build and the head shape. And I really liked the size and color of this horse too, but just there was something, some kind of swelling in the legs I couldn't quite peg or you know put my finger on. But yeah, it seemed like a really sweet horse, probably a really great trail horse as well. And I'm not looking at just pointing out issues, but if you're looking to purchase, you need to know what the heck you're looking at. This pony was beautiful, loved the size, loved the build. But again, just something seemed off. I think potentially Cushing's could have been at play. I'm not 100% sure. And you can't be sure about anything until you take them home and have a vet look at them, which is why you need to err on the side of caution if you're going and purchasing at auctions. This horse looked really nice, but again, I'm not interested in buying a stock horse, so that's why I'm not going over there and opening the horse's mouth and looking at the teeth. But a beautiful horse. Look at this gelding. He, I literally thought this was a pregnant mare until I walked over. <laughs> And then they will have some yearlings and weanlings and foals at the sale too. But we already have our two foals at home. Yeah, we're not gonna get a horse today. All right, horse lovers. So we walked around, you saw all the horses. There was just nothing that I felt like I really wanted to purchase. And as you know, I'm not gonna buy something unless I really love it because I'm committing to that horse, that animal. So yeah, it was fun though to you know, see the horses and get out to another auction. We have a few more coming up. Like I said, I am ready to buy if the opportunity comes along and I find the right horse, but it's also winter. And of course I'm busy with so many other things. So if we don't find something, that's okay. In other words, I'm not in a rush. It has to be the right one. So thanks for coming along. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving and a good Black Friday and make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. So you don't miss anything free spirit equestrian. We'll see you next time. Bye.